Reverend Fathers, Father Samuel, Reverend Fathers, brothers and sisters of the Coptic Church, my parliamentary colleagues, um, Mr. Uh, Craig Kelly, Federal Member of Parliament, Mr. David Clark, my councillor colleague, Councillor Peter Poulos, my former councillor colleague, Councillor Magdi Mikhail, and many distinguished members of the Coptic community that are here. Let me first of all acknowledge the young people, not only that are here, but who got up here to speak. Um, they make me look immature in speaking and giving such great speeches. Their approach to the speech, their presentation, is really and truly a remarkable reflection of the church's uh, care in the youth of the Coptic community. I want to congratulate the churches, Father Samuel, Father Agostino, Father Magdi at uh, St. Mark's Church, for their focus on their church, for their focus on their youth. They have really and truly followed the word, the words of His Holiness Pope Shenouda about the youth of the Coptic community. So friends, it is with sadness that we are here today to commemorate 40 days since the passing of His Holiness Pope Shenouda III. So I'm truly moved by present, the presentations given by the Coptic youth who spoke tonight. Pope Shenouda was felt around the world by over 30 million Copts and many millions more Christians, Muslims of all faiths who had held him in high regard and respected him in the way that the Coptic community did. For over 40 years, His Holiness was the guide and the protector for those of the Coptic faith and the entire generations of his followers who have known only him as their spiritual leader. Today, we pay tribute to the man who devoted his whole life to the service of God. I'd also like to make mention of the person he was before he entered God's service. His Holiness was born Nazir Gayed Rufail on the 3rd of August 1923 in the town of Asrit in the upper, upper Egypt. He was the youngest of eight children, sadly losing his mother shortly after his birth. Like many of his peers, he had a close connection with the Coptic Church, one which he would strongly advocate during his time in the Sea of Mark, in the Sea of Mark. As we have heard tonight, and he later said, and the very famous quote, a church without youth is a church, is a church without a future, and youth without the church are youth without a future. That message has been, as I said earlier, followed to the letter by the reference of, the, of St. Mary's and St. Mary's Church, as well as St. Mark's, even establishing not only various schools around this church, but establishing churches in English to cater for the youth's needs. And that is a testament to the thinking of the leadership in the clergy. And I congratulate, as I said earlier, uh, Father uh, Reverend uh, Samuel and others who have devoted so much, uh, Father Reverends here, who have uh, devoted so much uh, to the youth of uh, today. His Holiness was strongly involved in local church in his youth, as it was while working as a teacher that he commenced study at the Coptic Theological Seminary. While he initially balanced both civic and religious life, this changed in 1954 when he entered the Syrian monastery. This marked the start of a life of a total dedication to his church. At the passing of Pope Cyril VI in 1971, Schneider's record of great and popular leadership with his church saw him as a natural successor to the papacy. For the next 40 years, he led the Coptic Church through a period of growth and development, including expanding the reach of the church from just four established, four established churches in the US in 1971 to over 400 today. And during the upcoming selection of the new pope, it will be these and many other churches established during Shenouda's time 
as part that will have the opportunity to appoint his successor. I do hope and believe that they will make a wise decision in choosing the rightful successor that would continue to grow the Coptic Church. During my own time on Rockdale City Council, I had the honour of organising a visit to Rockdale by His Holiness during his tour to Australia in November of 2002. When I met him, I was truly humbled by the measure of a man who, he, who has given so much for, this, for his people. It was this moment that had left a lasting impression on me and, and his stature in my heart grew a million times. I have seen the Coptic Orthodox community in Sydney grow and I am privileged to have been involved in small part in establishing St. Mark's Orthodox Cathedral that we are meeting here today. At first, it was a struggle to get the DA approved. But I think with the wise support of the Gropdal City Council and the leadership of the church, we ensured that you have this beautiful building that we meet here today. So friends, if Pancho Nudu's successor lived up to even a fraction of his predecessor's achievements, the Coptic Orthodox Church will continue to be in safe hands. I thank the church, the diocese and the community for allowing me to be a part of this very important commemoration of a great man whom I dearly loved. Thank you very much. <laughs>